Hello and welcome to the Leather Repair Company. Today we are going to show you how to repair a tear in a leather jacket. We're also going to show you how to actually re-sew up the lining via the escape route after you have carried out your repair so that you know how to actually repair linings on jackets when the seams actually come undone because you can do the exact same process to repair any seams on the interior of jackets just like we're going to do here with this particular jacket because we need to obviously get into the back of the tear itself so we're going to open up the actual lining just here and go down here which is called the escape route obviously to carry that out you're going to need a very good sharp um, scalpel or some seam rippers and you need to very carefully open up the interior of the leather jacket to enable you to do this the reason for us opening up this particular area just here is this can't be seen it's, it's, it's in the arm itself, so it's, a, it's an invisible area so far as the actual jacket body is concerned. Plus, it's what they call the escape route. The escape route is the final stages of sewing a jacket lining together after a jacket has been manufactured. That is just its technical term. But what we need to do, we need to open up the jacket there to enable us to get a piece of timber in. We want to get a piece of melamine timber in there because we need a, a, the, the actual base platform uh, structure needs to be very solid and strong so that when we're bonding the tear together we can push against a stable base and the other reason for doing that is what you don't want to do is get glue seeping out and going all over your lining sticking the lining to the leather jacket and then all all things are going to just rip apart and it's going to be a ghastly repair so this enables you to do a repair without getting any glue on the lining which is going to make it look horrible and it's, it's going to go rigid and solid and it gives you a nice open area to perform this sort of surgery that we're going to perform on this leather jacket. In effect, we are doing sort of like a surgery. You can see the tear there. And we've got to bond that back together again. So you get a scar line, you know, just like you would get if you had an operation, you would end up with a scar line. So we're going to use the lamb napper leather um, to do that. This is our leather glue. It's a water-based leather glue. We're obviously going to be bonding the tear together once the glue's gone in. And how we're going to push that back together again, um, that's going to be done with obviously using a couple of toothpicks to push that back together. One's obviously going to put the glue in and the other's going to push the tear together. We obviously need a good sharp pair of scissors so that we can cut out the lamb napper. The lamb napper is around about, an, as I said, 0.85 to 0.95 mil thick. It's what they call a gloving leather. And... What you don't want is a piece of leather cut that's oblong or square because that creates corners. So we need to create this oval shape so that it's got no sharp corners. The last thing you want is to put a piece of leather in there with sharp corners so that that gets buckled up and you then get this horrible ghastly sort of repair with this big ridge on your leather jacket which is going to stand out. You want it to be smooth, flat and seamless is how you want the repair to be done. And following this video and the instructions, you will be able to create a perfect seamless repair to your leather jacket tear. So obviously get that cut, and then obviously we're gonna feed that in through the hole once we put the timber into the back of the arm to give us our base. And, and as it's sat there, you want to have it that way so it's swayed side up. So it's swayed side to swayed side once the repair is carried out. And here we're just going to show you how big the sort of hole is. We'll put a hand in the back here and then stick our finger through the actual leather so that you can sort of see our finger um, coming through. And then you can sort of see there, you know, how sort of big the tear is and, you know, what it's like. And you can you can sort of see our finger coming through this. You can see what it's like. So it's, it's, a, it's not a very big tear, but it is a reasonable tear. That's the piece of timber. We obviously need to get that fed into the back so that we've got that nice stable base to work on because sometimes you need to sort of like bang the tears together um, with like a special um, upholsterer's like a sort of it's like a special tool it's like a hammering tool um, and it enables you to sort of push them down flat and remove any excesses or sort of like ridges in the leather when you're doing repairs and it's like a special um, product is like bang down flat and it gives you that nice sort of stable base again um, and, and having the timber in there allows you to do that that also stops you getting glue on your lining and creating other issues that could be created if you didn't have that in position so you can see we've got that there now and we're ready to sort of obviously start putting the lamb leather backing into the hole and you can see there we've shown you what it's like so just feed that down and then we can get that pushed in 
um, with the toothpick. Obviously you want to keep it so it's suede side up when you're doing the repair. You don't want it so it's finished side up because it's not going to glue very well. So suede side up. That'll then go onto the back of the jacket so it's suede side to suede side. And just feed that in. Make sure it's nice and flat and smooth. Check to make sure there are no ridges and that you're happy with how it looks. And then we're going to obviously glue that down so that we can get that put into position. And again, we're obviously using the water-based leather glue to enable us to do this repair to this tear on this leather jacket. Just get some on the toothpick or onto your leather uh, you know, glue repair stick and just carefully feed that in to the back of the tear so that we can get that into position. Don't be shy with the glue, you want to make sure you get plenty in there, obviously don't get too much in there, but get sufficient in there to give it enough bond onto both surfaces on the piece of backing fabric that you've put in and onto the actual leather at the back of the leather jacket itself as well. You can use a poly cotton to do the tear repair, but again, it's more important that you understand that you do have that wood in there because obviously when you're gluing with a poly cotton, the glue can seep through the poly cotton and get onto your lining and then glue the lining to the back of the jacket. And once you start moving, you'll rip that off and you'll most likely rip off the poly cotton with it as well. And you'll end up with probably a bigger tear than what you had previously. So make sure that you do have that piece of timber put into the back of the jacket when you're actually carrying out the repair. Using this, the toothpick here, just push that into position and then use your finger to do any smoothing out to remove any excess sort of ridges and tap it down to make sure that that's nicely in position. And you can see there that looks actually quite remarkable. I mean, you obviously are going to get a scar line left with the repair that you're doing. Some tears are worse than others, and obviously the scar line will be more visible on some compared to others. But it depends, obviously, on the type of repair that you're doing as to how that repair is going to come out. But to be fair, it looks quite good what we've actually achieved here. Very little sort of scarring left there. You can just see there's a little bit of a line there where the tear was... Um, where we've carried the tear out, carried, you know, carried the tear repair out. So it's a very fine scar line that's left. This is obviously putting the, the actual lining back together again of the jacket. Tie that off into a knot first of all. We've just got like a paper clip there holding the lining together. What you can actually do with some, you know, sometimes with linings is you can actually use like a seamstress double-sided tape. You can get these in all sorts of varying sizes as well, um, of width, so that you can then use a small find one you can get like a sort of probably like anywhere between three to five mil wide and you could glue that together with a double-sided tape and then sew the lining up obviously we're just going along there we, we, you want the actual repair to the lining to be as least visible as possible so you don't want to create like a big ridge there you want to create a very nice fine ridge and just carefully going you know underneath and up and over the top and that's pulling the lining back into position and you just need to continue to do that throughout the whole of the um, jacket. We obviously do have a good assortment of videos that you can look at so far as jacket repairs. It's one of our main fortes here at the leather repair company that we do is jacket repairs. Along with shoes you know, and other fashion items that we can actually repair and recolor. So obviously what we our main focus is is with like scuffs, tears and recolouring of leather jackets and shoes and handbags so if you have any of those particular items that you are looking to to get repaired we can help you or well, we hope that this diy craft video will help you enormously to carry out repairs at home very effectively without having to send them away to have them repaired just continue to sew along obviously use a good quality sharp needle and some good quality thread as well this is a bonded nylon that we're using here and we've doubled it up to ensure that we get a good quality repair. You can see that it's a double thickness um, thread that we've used. So just continue sewing down, obviously being careful not to stick the needle into your finger. It can be very painful if you do that, that's for sure. We're now sort of towards the, the sort of final stages of carrying out the repair, but anything you need to know about, you know, leather garments, do give us a bell. We are here to help you. You can contact us for any form of technical help. Technical help is completely free of charge at LRC. So do drop us an email to help at leatherrepaircompany.com. We are here to help. All the products 
will be listed in the bio that we've used in this particular video so that you can buy those from our website also. We do do a leather tear repair kit and there are videos here that we will link in the bio about actually how to repair, how to actually recolor a leather jacket as well. So you can see there that we've virtually sewn that all the way along. Obviously, once that is completed, you would then need to obviously snip off any ends of the thread that is left once that's obviously sewn all the way along. But you can see there the ridge that we've created. It's a very fine one. You don't want it to be too big a ridge where that sort of escape route is. But this is where you would go in and out of the jacket every single time that you need to actually conduct a repair um, to the jacket. So we've just got a small amount of the item left now, but about an inch and a half left to sort of sew up. But obviously anything to do with, you know, cleaning of leather jackets, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, you know, we are able to help you. We're one of the world leaders in leather jacket care, repair and restoration. It's something that we've done as a company for over 39 years. So we've been sort of dealing with leather jackets for a very long time and we get them sent to us from all over the world to sort of repair, clean and recolor and restore. You can see there we were at the final stages of what we're doing with sewing up the lining. But that is how you would sew up the lining, you know, of a leather jacket where you've carried out a repair. You'd always go in through that escape, you know, root area to conduct your repair. That gives you access to the whole of the leather jacket, the whole main body, just through that one particular arm. And we're just carefully getting that sewn up. Once we've obviously got that sewn up, we would then pull everything back into position and you can then see what the tear is going to be like from the actual front of the item. So you can see there, we've sewn that along. Looks very nice, looks very neat. Obviously, this is extremely close up. And then you're just going to finish that off. Um, and you can see there, we we're going to go in just to sort of finish off the actual stitch itself to lock that off. Just going to go in there and come through and lock it all out. There you go, in and out, through there. And then we're just going to lock that off. See the thread there, pull it through, and then we're just going to snip that off. And that's locked off the thread. We've, locked, we've obviously tied it off at the other end, and then we just pull it through the lining and lock it off. And that's obviously not going to be accessible to your arm, because the way your arm's going to go is where the scissors are now, because this is obviously the inside of the lining. So the, bar, the part that we put inside the jacket can't be seen, but that's perfectly sewn up. And you can see there, we've just created that nice little sort of... Um, you know, escape route area in the jacket, which we've opened up and then re put back into position again. And there you go. There is the jacket all put back together again and the tear repair carried out. And it's looking absolutely fantastic where that's been done. Thank you very much.